On the 1st of October in 1990, the struggle to liberate Rwanda began in Yagatari district and in a sector called Tawagwe, the first location was captured, so small it was given the nickname of Centimeter. Betty Kanengwa would return to Rwanda in 1993 and settle in Tawagwe. Tawagwe. The struggle continued and Tawagwe became like the headquarters because I believe that Centimeter boosted the courage of those who were fighting. It is hard to explain, but imagine a place that was so devastated back then. So much so people were afraid to come here. But see for yourself how it looks like now. You can see the vision of our leaders during the struggle manifested here. This place is now flowing with milk that has produced oil. Indeed, the transformation of Tawagwe in the last 26 years has reinforced the bond local residents share with their leaders. This location has a special history when it comes to the struggle because the RPF lived here, being the first location that was captured. If you remember, there was a time it was claimed that there was another country within Rwanda, and what they meant were the locations the RPF had captured starting here. They were calling it a separate country. Our pact with the RPF has to do with all that has been achieved. They fought that war and won, liberated us, and brought us the development you now see. The schools, hospitals, roads, and other infrastructure that has to do with development. That is an important pact that cannot allow us to forget the people that liberated us. Rwanda is now famous, and it used to be just a dot on the map that people struggled to find. All these good things did not just appear magically. These achievements speak for themselves. That is why those I hear about who deny things should open their eyes and see. It gives confidence about our country because the original goals have never been abandoned. Unity, democracy, repatriating refugees, good foreign relations and so on. As part of celebrations to mark the 26th anniversary of the liberation, a modern settlement has been built in Tabagwe for 64 vulnerable families, with each family receiving things like beddings, a TV, gas cookers, a cow, and 2,000 chickens in total for rearing in the settlement. The 30-kilometer Nyagatari Tabagwe Karama Road is also now tarmacked. Tabagwe has a school, health center, and much more. We have upgraded the school because some children are going to boarding schools across the border. Tabagwe School now has better education to offer and boarding facilities to address that issue. Liberation must be freedom from poverty and depression because now people here are no longer in isolation, have good roads, clean water, which they did not have before, which makes them happy. This location did not have three-phase electricity, just single phase and others had none at all. Now it has been provided, three-phase electricity in the entire region. That is liberation. What I have mentioned is not just here because there is an entire hospital at Gatunda sector. We are also proud that we have our own stadiums now here in Yagatari, which we will be inaugurating tomorrow. That is important to the stadium. Yagatari residents say such achievements are the reason they will never break their bond with their leaders. We must not break the pact that we have with our government because everything is promised has been delivered. It also applies to future generations. Let them not break it. Let anyone who does be punished by the law. Nyagatari district in the eastern province will host the liberation celebrations at national level on Saturday.